Don't tell anybody, but I'm gonna show you how to hide a laser. Welcome my friends. Probably the most popular video to date on my YouTube channel is this video right here of this workbench which folds up into that storage cabinet and rolls around my garage. Good little video other than the fact that it's got some creepy music which starts and stops and people really didn't like. Learned a lesson from that. I certainly don't do that anymore. The only problem I've had with this workbench is the fact that I got into the laser engraving business about three or four years ago and this laser engraver or others have sat on this workbench pretty much nonstop, which really negates the ability to be able to fold it up into the wall and roll it around my garage when I need it to do other things. Got a little bit of an idea to play the game of hide a laser. So if you're somebody that's got a spouse that doesn't know you have a laser or you're looking to buy a laser and you want to hide it, this project might be for you. The plan is to get that diode laser off my workbench so I can use my workbench to do other items or be able to fold it up when I don't need it. To be able to do that, I'm going to have to clean all these tools out that are on this side over here and put them into the storage cabinet that I purposely built to get my garage a little bit more organized and for these tools and such, and then be able to put the diode laser up in here, fold it down onto my workbench when I need it, and then fold it back up when I don't need it, and still be able to fold my workbench back up onto the wall and get it up out of the way. So we'll get into that. Need to get the measurements on the diode laser, and I think this should work out pretty well. The Acer laser that I have is 27 by 26 by about seven inches tall. Uh, and it's gonna fit in this space. So what I need is, or the goal is to actually use the whole distance up and as much a distance out, we'll be able to fold down. I'm gonna do that on a hinge. Fold this laser up and be able to fold it down onto my workbench when I do need it. I'm using a half inch plywood. We're gonna get this measured and then cut. And this is going to be the spoil board and the base for the laser. So the last video I did was a project using a plasma cutter and a Christmas theme thing. Catch that, it's a pretty cool video. I'll link that up above. Okay, so that's my spoil board. Right now it's 36 by 32. I'm gonna end up trimming some of the 36 off based on the height of the one by one, which is gonna have the hinge that I have here mounted to it and then mounted to the spoil board. And that's what's going to give me the ability to fold it up. I've got the hinge mounted, it's flush. When this is like this, this section here is going to be mounted to the, the base of my storage cabinet. So in essence, it's gonna look like that. And this will fold down onto the workbench. I have to have this lip or portion raised up because the workbench, when it overlaps the storage, it sits on top of the, the storage base. Uh, so this, this distance will ideally let this lay flat on the workbench. I've got the, the hinge and the base mounted for the, uh, the fold down portion. And what I need to do, as I said, the workbench, if you can see here, when it's folded up and it sits on top like that. So that's why I've got to have that standoff distance with this. The next portion I got to take a look at is I want to make sure it sits back far enough so when the bench folds up, it's it's flush with the, the side of the cabinet. You get into uh, woodworking for the joy of doing woodworking. Don't ever do a YouTube video because you will find that pretty quickly that it takes a lot more time to do stuff because you're moving cameras around and such. Okay, let's see here. I will probably end up having to just replace this whole board because I think it's going to be too cracked. Do anything with, at least get it held in place with that. How about that? Drill a pilot hole and you won't crack stuff. So that's the only screws I'm going to put in for now. Like I said, I'm going to end up having to probably replace that base, but at least this gives me a uh, idea what it will look like. But yeah, by base for the, uh, the drop down portion, it's got to be thicker. The other baseboard that I had was not high enough to get this so it would lay flat on the workbench like it is now. So I had to cut a thicker board. And this time I just went with a two by four so it's gonna be a little bit more sturdy and I shouldn't have any major issues as far as it's splitting. Kind of as I thought because I went with a higher board Unfortunately, I've got to uh, trim some of the uh, the top off, so about a half inch or so. But that's that's actually looking pretty good otherwise. All right, tr trim that half inch off and be right back with it. I trimmed off the half inch and we're looking good. <clears throat> Just got to bolt this down and then hopefully we'll be uh, cooking with gas.
So now we're gonna mount up the honeycomb bed. And actually before I bolt this down, I, I wanna get some shims of wood to mount underneath so there's a little bit of air space. So when you're cutting, you, you get some airflow. that will help out with cutting. Just put them right on top. Okay, that's looking good there. Get the, some screws, get this mounted. Quarters. So that's not going anywhere. The thing I have to do now is I've got to do the 3D print the holders to mount underneath to clip in and hold this from sliding around and moving. And we'll do that and then we'll be able to fold it up and fold up our bench and we'll have some workspace available and the laser won't be sitting on my workbench. This is all kind of a moot point. This laser, I probably won't use a whole heck of a lot going forward, but I still want to have it for small, small projects. The CO2 laser that I'm getting is going to be a pretty good size laser. It's going to take up a good portion and it's going to do a lot of work for me with projects. As you can see the, the tape that's on the floor running up to my fiber laser, which is going to move to the left. It's now the next day. I had to design up a 3D print, just an L shape, and then it mounts underneath like that. So I can actually screw it in here and it holds the back end right there. So these should work out pretty well. We'll give that a shot and see what it does. everything back together here. Slide that down because that's where it's naturally going to go. And let's see what she looks like here. So everything's mounted in. And when I pick this up, see it doesn't slide. Locked in pretty tight. And boy, those screws are just a bit too proud. All right. Yep. I got to put this down. Wow. That actually fits a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, now for the true test. We're gonna get it all folded up and we'll fold up the workbench and see if it works and hides the laser. That's good. I haven't folded this bench up into this wall in so long that I, there's so much dust all over it. All right, so we're gonna get her folded up into the wall. So that turned out a lot better than I anticipated. I now have the ability to put my laser up into the wall, so I have my workbench space back, and I have the ability to put my workbench back onto the wall, onto the cabinet behind it, so now I have my garage space available if I need to do other projects. My goal with this video wasn't necessarily to give you the plans on how to hide your laser, it was more to get you to think outside the box. How can you improve your workspace and make it more enjoyable and, and such? So get thinking and, and come up with something good. And if you do, post pictures of it. I'd be happy to see what that is and interested to see what you folks think. If you thought this was cool, that's great. Go ahead and hit the like button and put some comments down below. If you didn't like it, certainly let me know what you didn't like. The video that I posted on this a long time ago, that was linked at the beginning. It's a good video. The creepy music, I can't do anything about that. That's something I learned from going forward. The plans for this workbench are available on my Etsy and website. And that's the storage cabinet behind it and the workbench itself. My sincerest wish for you going into the holidays and the New Year's is that you're happy, safe, and prosperous. Other than that, I have nothing else for you. I want you to know one thing before you go, though. Your couch sucks. It's time for you to get up, get on, get out in your garage, and do something epic like hide your laser. See you.